at 10 a.m. So please come out and support. And there is no registration fee for the uh, symposium. All right. So come on, let's stand to your feet as we begin to pray on this morning. Lord, we just thank you for this day that you have made. And as an act of our will, God, we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, Lord, we thank you now that your presence is here because we brought you here, Father. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that will move in this house on today. And God, we send the word to our pastor as he's preaching at another ministry on today, God, that you would move by power God use him mightily in that service on today oh God in the name of Jesus God and we pray that you would move in this service and God we lift up our very own minister Laverne Rogers God we decree and declare her healing on today no weapon formed against her will be able to prosper and God we rejoice that our mother Jerry is in the house on today God we thank you for how you are raising her up God in the name of Jesus God hallelujah we thank you for how you're raise her up oh God in Jesus name God so we thank you as our hands are lifted and our hearts are lifted we're ready God for what you have for us on today it's in Jesus in the mighty name we pray amen 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 praise team lead us into the glory of God come on let's give God some glory Many of you all love to praise God. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise, I love to praise His holy name. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise, love to praise His holy name. Oh, I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love
we can do better than that. We say, give him the glory. Oh, y'all sound like a bunch of people that God never delivered. Y'all sound like a bunch of people that God hasn't saved. Oh, come on, if you know he's worthy, come on and give him some praise. If you know he's holy, come on and magnify him. If he's done anything for you in your life, lift him up on today. Hallelujah. God, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We can't say that enough. God, we thank you for all that you've done, for all that you're going to do. God, we just came today to bless you. We came today to give you the glory, to worship you, to adore you, to give you the reverence, God, that you deserve. Anybody just want to love on God on today? Anybody just want to spend some time in his presence, just worshiping, giving him what he deserves? In the name of Jesus, God, we just say that we love you. We say that we bless you and we glorify you, God, and our actions reflect that. Our hearts reflect that. Our minds, our lifestyles reflect that you are holy. We, it reflects that it is an honor and a privilege to be called yours.
that kept you from the head on collision. Day. It was all about the goodness of God. And if this morning he has done great things for you, you ought to let him know. But the Bible said, give honor where honor is due. If he did anything for you, you ought to let him know this morning. Lord, you are so good, God. You are so great, God. You keep on doing great things, God. You keep on, you keep on, you keep on, you keep on. God, your greatness never ends, God. Your greatness ever ends, God. You keep on surprising me, God. You keep on doing the miraculous, God. Lord, we love you this morning, God. We adore you this morning, God. We're not going to let a rock cry out for us this morning, God. You've been better in us than we've been in ourselves, God. So we say thank you, God. God, we bless you, God. We bless you, God. We magnify your name, God. We give you all the honor, God. Lord, we love you, God. Lord, we adore you, God. Lord, we love you, we adore you, God. Lord, we make your name great in this place, God. Lord, we don't worry about who's here and who's not here. Lord, but I feel your presence in this place, God. And because you are here, God, I'm determined to give you all the glory, God. I'm determined to give you all the praise, God. Lord, I'm going to give you what you deserve this morning, God. Because you've been great in my life, God. I can't speak for no one else, God, but you've been great in my life, God. So, God, I magnify you, God. Lord, I'm like David, God. I once was young, God. But now I know, God, you never forsake me, God. I never have to break for bread, God. I might then always have steak, God, but you never let me go hungry, God. Lord, we might have had the lights turned off every now and then, God, but I always, God, you overshadowed the darkness, God. So, Father God, I thank you this morning, God. Lord, I magnify you this morning, God. Father God, you said, well, two or three are gathered together in your name, God. For God, you promised to be there in the midst, God. So we recognize your presence, God. We say there's a sweet, sweet presence in this place right now, God. Lord, we love you right now, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for every now and then, God, you will give us a glimpse of your glory, God. Lord, we thank you for every now and then, God, when we get weary down in our spirit, you just give us a little glimpse, God. Lord, and we decided, Lord, we can see a just a little, a little glimpse, God. We'll be determined to run on, God. Father God, we thank you right now, God. Father God, we thank you for this time and opportunity, God, to worship you, God. Father, we thank you, God, for what you're going to do, God. We have an expectation in this place, God. We expect the miraculous, God. And I speak by faith, God. We came in one way, but we're going to leave out another way. We're going to leave out better today, God. Because we came in counter with you, God. For you said no one can come in contact with you, God, and remain the same, God. Change us, God, from the inside out, God. That we might continue to declare that you are good and you are merciful, God. And we love you and we adore you, God. We bless your holy name, God. And we thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on and give him a little praise this morning. Come on and give him a little praise this morning, God. I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited this morning. Um, as you can see, um, the great, the urban CEO, the, the bishop is not here. Um, he's at Lizzie Chapel. He's not sitting out. He has, he's at Lizzie Chapel. Um, I don't want to, he's at Pastor Tony. I don't know if it's a church anniversary or a pastor anniversary. Um, but let me, let me show you how, how big that he is for us, uh, Miss Shirley. He's old school, and it's good for some time for God to tie the old school with the new school. And me and Sam was talking this morning. She, 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 she plays a part, wife, mother. She, she thinks she plays a lot. And, um, and we was talking about Miss Shirley when we used to come up. Uh, we was at church Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we might have got sad, though. Uh, but but what, what, what I'm saying, we were such in a hurry to get away from it. It don't take all that. <laughs> and, 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 and it has its pros and cons. But what, what the old folks knew, Pam, was um, they was trying to build uh, our relationship with God. See, 
the truth be told, I don't know about your house, but in, in my house there are some distractions. I got a TV in every room, and there are some distractions at the house. So it's not, it's not necessarily building, um, but it's, your, it's that, that quality time. They had a song out with that quality time. So what they were trying to do was uh, build a relationship. Uh, the Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they get old, they won't depart. They put something down on the inside of us. I'm going to leave it witness, uh, Ms. Shirley, that it didn't go too far. Because when things get tough, uh, I have something to fall back on. I didn't really understand why I had to be at church all that time, but it was saturated in that sanctuary. I don't, I don't know. I, I, uh, Ingrid, I try to saturate my house. You know I'm saying I try to saint saturate the house, but uh, we, we don't have uh, a minister dean. Uh, we don't have a Pam Vincent. We, he said when we all get together, th there's power in the unity. So that's what we missed, and the enemy want to show us um, we too busy doing nothing, and we missing we missing God. Uh, we missing God um, because you're not getting it. He said, "How can I hear without a preacher? How can they preach it if they haven't been sent?" Uh, faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. Y'all might as well tell the truth. Y'all ain't blasting me faith words throughout your house twenty four seven, and and neither am I because I don't walk around in the spirit twenty four seven. I'm going to watch a little football, a little cooking shows, but um, all of that, saying was joking in the morning, uh, saying used to like to go out, you know what I'm saying, on Thursday, but I'm going to show you how her mom was strict, and I told her saying, what they did then, they, they, they might have used the wrong tactics, but it was for our benefit. So what she was used to tell saying, well, if you're going to go out on Thursday, you're going to have to go to church first. And what you see is, if something bad happened while you out thirst, at least you don't got the word before you go out. We, we bargain with the kids now. We give them an option. They can come if they want, and, don't, and they, if they don't, they, they don't, don't have to come. It wasn't an option for us. So you see all this stuff going on. It's, 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 a, it's a combination of a lot of things, but um, the church plays a, a fundamental part. For he said, forsake not the gathering of ourselves together. Y'all don't miss it. Um, Y'all don't miss it. Let me, let me, let me show you. Let me, let me show you. I, I got a word. I'm going to preach. It ain't going to be long. We ain't going to be long as we were last Sunday. But uh, we miss, um, we miss, I ain't going to say we, I miss, because uh, Mashida and Minister Dean, they might have got it. I, I miss Veronica. I miss, y'all remember when Pastor, he got up here and he said, don't let the fight take your fight. Um, and for me, Veronica, what I did was, because his wife was going through, his mom was going through, I thought that word was just for him. So me and Dominique have um, been together about 30 years now. And, I, and, and I'm a living witness that he's not the same. But sometimes you get familiar with the old, and, and, and I'm going to say this now, and God is moving him toward the prophetic. So that was a prophetic word. He was saying, don't let the fight take your fight. And what, and what he was saying, I'm finna help y'all because it helped me because I just went through some fights. It's all right to be sick physically. Listen to what I'm saying. He's saying it's all right to be, phys be physically sick. But don't let that physical sickness become mentally and emotionally. You got to do, we have Dr. Betty, we have Minister Dean, we have Minister Laverne. Uh, you've never seen so many um, Christians, I say like this, in the field of mental and emotional awareness. God ain't, he, he, do, he just don't do things. He do it for a reason. How many of you know when you've been in something a long time, Pam, it gets the way heavy on your mind? Sean, sometimes, man, uh, uh, I feel like I can handle it physically okay. But uh, when my wife was going through this, this cancer thing, 
Veronica, I got tired. Not physically, not physically tired because I was still going to work. Uh, I was getting mentally and emotionally tired. I, 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 and I had to regroup. Uh, then in the midst of all that, then her mom got sick. I said, wait a minute, God. You know, uh, I'm, I'm a bargainer, uh, a reason. So I said, you know, God, I ain't been that bad. Uh, and keep in mind, now, it's two types of storms. Storm of correction or perfection. So if I ain't correcting you, you say, that's what you say. He said, you ain't been that bad. So if you ain't been that bad, it must mean it's storm of perfection. It's for his glory. So you're going to have to endure this process. But, but um, Sam Mom played a, a, a real a part in my life. I always knew her to be a woman of faith. Mm. But she got tired. So, so it goes to show me it don't matter how long you be there, if you don't reach out, if somebody don't surround you. That, see, what I told her, you sold it to me and her, so we going to sow back into you. She, call, she called me about a week or so ago. She said, she had, if y'all would have just seen the story, I'm coming. Uh, she had tools in her mouth, tools in her neck, and, and, and she came home from the hospital. She had been in the hospital about a month. Then she got sick again. We ain't say nothing. Because I realize life and death is in the power of the tomb. Yeah. Maybe sometime when you're crying out to people, he wants you, want you to just cry out to him. Yeah. Just sometimes you have to know when. Now, I'm not telling you this all the time. You, you, got, you got to know when. You got to know when. Now. You, you call out to who you need to call out. I'm talking about personal. So I told saying, I said, well, we ain't going to put this on the group text. We'll tell a few, few folks. This personal here. Because how I knew it was personal because he told me, saying that we're praying for healing. Pam, but I went past healing um, because we know. I seen with apostle, your ultimate healing is to be glorified. Wow. So I didn't want her glorified. I, I don't know the time or the place now, but I said, don't let this lady that don't spoke in everybody's life leave here with a tube in her mouth and a tube in her neck. So my prayer went from um, healing to restoration. How did, how you, he can restore what the enemy tried to destroy. That's, that's, that's she sit right there. That, there she go. Not, not, not totally healed, not totally re restored, but I, I, I hear the Bible say, he that began a good work in me. My, my, my God, y'all don't miss it. He that began. I told her when she was saying that, he, he, she said, uh, he might have just got me up for me to tell you bye. There's nothing tragic to unexpected to God. He don't have to raise you up to tell nobody bye. He said, like, in a twinkling of an eye, you're going to be gone. If they, if they didn't say goodbye, shame on them. But he raised you up because you ain't finished. He, ra he raised her up because she ain't finished. I don't know when the end is going to be, I, I, but I knew then because she's here, it, it, it wasn't the end. And some of y'all are going through it. I come to tell y'all it's not the end. Twana, it's not the end. You're, I mean, the enemy going to have to leave you back alone or whatever he bothered, Veronica. Uh, and, and the most important thing, let me help you here before, before we preach, uh, is the helmet of salvation. When he said put on the whole arm of God, your body going to get physically injured. Y'all got, y'all, we got to protect our mind. We're going we to have to cover the, the enemy after our mind. I'm telling you, I see it in the spirit. He after our mind. Strong mind. Weak mind, and you know, men, we claim, DJ, we claim not to be weak. Nowhere. But, man, he after our mind. Because we know the greatest weapon is deception. He after our mind. He wants things to seem that, it, that, that they are worse than what they are. He wants he want us to seem, Pam, that things are worse than what they really are. Uh, uh, and, and what it is, he wants to take our focus off of God. And, and, and if he take our focus off of God, Pam, we'll begin to sink. Y'all don't believe that. Y'all know, know I'm a word, I'm a word, I'm a word preacher. Peter said, uh, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. The storm was already raging. It didn't wait that Peter stood on, that stepped out on the water for the storm and the wind to blow. It was already there. But his focus when he asked that question was on God. So he began to walk. I don't know where it was or what happened, but 
he got out there and realized that he was really walking on the water, but I'm going to say he wasn't walking on just the water alone. He was walking on the water and the word because the word was come. If he tell you to do anything, just step out on it and do it. He was walking on the word and the water, and he lost focus. But see, that when he lost focus, he began to sink. So that shows us we good at starting out with something. Christian, we good at starting out with something. We, so Shirley, we got enough faith to start a thing. We got enough faith to start a thing. Y'all don't miss it now. We, we have enough faith to start a thing. But somehow, when we get in the middle of the thing, the faith seemed to diminish. Somehow, what, what has that faith? And I wrestle, I mean, I wrestle, um, uh, I wrestled a little bit with it because my topic was rooted in faith. Um, my, man, I went, to, I, I went everywhere. I mean, I, I, I tried to look up every scripture dealing with this faith. And what I, tend, what I found out was um, when I was looking at this, this, this scripture of faith, uh, there's not necessarily a big faith or a little faith. Because all faith is in God. We serve a great God. Great is his faithfulness. So as great as his faithfulness, great should be our faith. But I came here to Peter. Y'all stand to your feet. It ain't going to be long. Y'all stand to your feet. This, 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 this hymn was good, him. Because we hear so many colloquial things in the church. Uh, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed. So for some of us, that must have seen faith is just a uh, beginning faith. Yeah. I, I want to know how, how do I expound on my faith and how do I become rooted in faith. And it ain't just circumstances that our theme for this year is rooted. And like I told you, uh, he had a prophetic word, don't let the fight take your faith, fight. His theme this year prophetic, rooted, because he keeps saying there's coming a shaking to the body of Christ. Can I, can I warn y'all now? You're supposed to watch my soul to sound. The, faith, the shaking has begun. He's shaking loose everything that I ain't. Y'all think I be playing. I mean, saying, saying. And it ain't just person. We'll start over. His mom had breast cancer. Then his wife. It's just local here. We have other stuff going on. Then saying with a neck. Twins in a neck. Then a mom. Um. Then uh, Laverne have a procedure tomorrow uh, with blood clots in her lung. He's attacking everything that professor, that y'all don't see it. That's just not happenstance. That just don't happen. He want to shake us. He want to shake. He want to see. Uh, I remember when Apostle uh, left, the first sermon was, remember what you be taught. Remember what you've been taught. He's trying to see where you come into church just to check off a list. Or did you, he said, one man planted in another water. He want to know what that word, that seed, he said, let the seed die and fall to the ground and abide alone. So the seed was planted, the seed of faith. That's, that's what we're coming at. The seed of faith was planted um, when you came to the altar. I confess my sin, he died for my sin. I am saved. You see, the seed was planted. But what have we done to water that seed? So here we go. I, 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 I'm telling y'all, I've been in church over 30 some years. Never knew um, that I, you know what I'm saying, faith come by here. I thought someone had to preach on faith all the time for me to water. You're going to have to water faith daily. You're going to have to water your faith daily. Yeah. And then what, what I seen, though, know, when I was in 2 Peter, 2 Peter, uh, 2 Peter, let me put my glass on, 2 Peter, Chapter 1, verse 1 through 8. Y'all put that on the screen. Let them look at it a minute. I'm finna, I'm finna read it. But let, 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 me, let me get you where I'm going. Um, we try a lot of time to do the work for God. But first, God has to do a work in you. And, and that, that's what mess me up. You know what, how we have a fire when we come to God? We get that fire and just want to take off. Running and working for God. Then you get out there and then you'll hear that... Uh, uh, Jesus, I know, but who are you? 
Uh, so you have to be careful right there. So Second Peter, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I look, I, I wanted to find something on unfailing faith. He told Peter, he said, uh, when you, when you, uh, I, he said, I pray that your faith, your faith fail not. He said, when you fully converted, Christian, my brother. So I thought I had it. And then when you go and lead, and you can't take it out of t- context, you have to read it. Um, pastor, you know, I ain't nothing wrong with bouncing um, something off because you want to be bil- biblically correct. Um, for every text, there is a context. So I thought the fully converted was uh, a perfect faith, an uh, unfailing faith. And you know how, you know, he got the degrees in. He said, no, nah, not really. Go back and read it again. He said, uh, he said, just when you, when you, you have to repent. He said, Peter just repented. Peter wasn't perfect, but he, he repented. I said, I, I can't use that one. I got to keep, I got to keep moving on. So right here, I'm, I'm going to read it, then, then we can take a seat. I'm going to read it, and y'all sit down, uh, then I'm going to read it in the Amplifier. Y'all really got to get this. I ain't, ain't going to be long. Uh, first Peter, Second Peter, I'm sorry. Um, chapter 1, verse 1 through 8. If y'all got it, say read. Simon Peter, a born servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have received the faith of the same kind as ours, by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus and of Jesus our Lord, seeing that his divine power had granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who has called us by his own glory and excellence. For by these he has granted to us his precious and magnificent promise, so that by them you may become partakers of divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world by lust. Now for this reason also applying all diligence in your faith supply more excellent and in your more excellent knowledge, and in your knowledge, self-control, in your self-control, perseverance, and in your perseverance, godliness, and in your godliness, brotherly kindness, and in your brotherly kindness, love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they render you neither useless nor unfruitful in the true knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who, who, for he who lacks these qualities is blind or short-sighted, having forgotten his purification from his former sins, therefore, brother, be all more diligent to make certain about his calling and choosing you. For as long as you practice these things, you, you will never stumble. For in the way the entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be abundantly supplied to you. Y'all can take your seat. But as you take your seat, uh, I'm going to read it in the Amplified. Because I, I don't want you to miss it. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle, special messenger of Jesus Christ, to these who have received, obtained an equal privilege of, like precious faith with ourselves and through the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. May grace, God favor, and peace with perfect well-being, all necessary good, all spiritual prosperity and freedom from fears and agitating passion and moral conflict be multiplied to you in full personal, precise, and correct, knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. For his divine power has bestowed upon us all things that are requisite and suited to life and godliness through the full personal knowledge of him who called us by and into his own glory and excellent virtue. By means of these he has bestowed on us his precious and exceedingly great promise so that through you you may escape by flight from the moral decay, rottenness, and corruption that is the world because of covenants, lust and greed, and become sharers, partakers of divine nature. For this reason, add, adding your diligence to divine promise, employ every effort in exercising your faith to develop virtue. Excellent resolution, Christian energy in exercising virtue, develop knowledge and intelligence. And it's exercising knowledge develops self-control, and exercising self-control develops steadfastness. Patient endurance and exercising steadfast develops godliness, um, piety. And in exercising godliness develops brotherly affection, and in exercising brotherly affection develops Christian love. For as these qualities are yours and increasing abound you, they keep you from being idle or unfruitful until full personal knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, anointed one. For whoever lacks these qualities is blind, spiritually short-sighted, seeing only what is near to him, 
who has become obvious to the fact that was cleansed from his own sin. Because of this brother, I'll be all the more solicitous and eager to make sure to ratify, to strengthen, to make steadfast your calling and election. For if you do this, you will never stumble or fail. Rooted in faith. Man, man. Rooted in faith. I, I, I thought, I thought the time, the time that I've I, I been, in, been in the church, I thought I was faithfully sound. I thought I was rooted. Uh, then you face some circumstances. How many of y'all know the storm coming? In the church, out the church, on top of the church? There's a storm brewing and it's coming. The old folks said, if, if you don't have to worry about the storm if your soul is anchored in Jesus. Saints of God, we, uh, we're not anchored uh, like we're supposed to be anchored. We, we're being tossed to and from. Some of us, I'm, I'm not going put to put it for everybody. Some, some people might have it all together. I, I caught myself being tossed to and fro. And uh, it didn't feel good, so I, I had to regroup. Uh, I mean, surely, for some reason, I don't know. I like to be in a little control. I know God is in control, but I don't like to be, be thrown to and fro with everything. Here I go, there I go, so everywhere I go. So some stuff, man, I want to be firmly, I want to stand on solid ground. And, 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 I, and I wonder why uh, this is not happening. But I ne no one never told me, what they told me was, and not speaking evil, uh, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, uh, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it will be removed. Sometime, some, sometimes that mountain ain't going nowhere, y'all. You know I'm saying sometimes, 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 sometimes that mountain is got not going somewhere, and if you don't know what's going on, you become frustrated. You become frustrated, and you and you would think to yourself that uh, God has let you down. Why me, God? Well, y'all ever felt that way, God? I I know I've been praying. I know I've been paying my tithe. I know I've been coming. I know I've been attending church. Lord, I've been doing everything I was taught to do, but uh, Lord, I'm, I'm getting tossed to and from right now. And, and it, it, it don't feel good. That's the first thing about it, Lord. It, it, don't, feel, it, it don't feel good. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. Let me, let me, I'll be transparent. Uh, I told saying, uh, and she said, I said, babe, I feel like we've been to the doctor 120 times. Uh, I went to the general doctor. I went to the council doctor. I went to the general surgery. I went to the council surgery. And, um, and, I, and I do believe it was part of the process, uh, Mashita. But uh, I, I'm real careful now. I don't withhold good news, but y'all check this out. I'm going to show you how God is working even when you don't think he works. So we got off of saying for a minute when her mom got sick, so... We, we, Lord, one, one day at a time. This, this is enough stress for the day. Let's deal with more Jerry right now. But in the midst, how many of you know what, what seemed impossible to us? God is still working behind the scenes. Check, check this out, y'all. Check this out. I'm going to show you how good God is. Uh, they had said saying uh, they only seen the council is two tumors in a neck. They only seen the council uh, first was around the outer part of the tumor. It didn't get to the core, so they said, just take it out, uh, and she should be all right. We'll see that we have to do chemo or radiation. Then they came back and said, uh, let's biopsy it first and see where it's really at, um, because that's a crucial muscle, and we go in there and cut. She might be paralyzed. They were saying everything. Um, in the midst of them talking, uh, Mr. Dean, we never stopped praying. So we, we went on with the process. How many of you know it's a process of everything? There's even a process to our faith walk. This, this for somebody, and I don't know what y'all going through, but I'm, a show, I'm telling you it's a process to your faith walk. Do you believe God's word or you believe what they say? Do you believe God's word or you, do you believe what they say? So I didn't understand it, but I mean, I know I believe God's word. 
I hear what they're saying, but I believe God's word. Mr. Dean, uh, so we went on, uh, come back up, and then they kept, when I was getting mad because I want it, I want it. I mean, you'll go to the doctor today and give you another appointment 14 days away, 21 days away. I want this to be out of my wife's body quickly, quickly. I got two insurance. I'm telling everything. I got enough stuff to sell. We, we said, right, we, let's, it ain't the money. What's the problem? It ain't the money. It ain't the, let's, let's do this. They kept scheduling it off, so I'm getting frustrated. So I called Sam one day. I said, hey, man, I'm just going to talk to your doctor. I mean, man, the longevity of this thing on me. I'm in this storm a long time. I feel myself getting weak. Sometimes you have to be honest. I mean, Sherry, I felt myself getting weak. I felt, I felt the wind blowing. I mean, I felt the wind blowing. So I said, hey, uh, I, let me talk to him. You too laid back, man. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You mean, you mean with me, but you take it easy on everybody else. You too laid back. <laughs> let, let me do the talking. You talk to them like you talk to me. That's what I'm telling to all. DJ, that's what I was telling you. Hey, I'm the one that really danged you. I thought you remember, George. So you talk to me anything. You get in the doctor, yes, sir, no, sir. I mean, you give me to him. I said, you too calm, you too calm. I mean, I can't handle this. I mean, I'm in the fire. Uh, I'm a big guy. When I get in the fiery furnace, I sweat easy. I'm, I'm sweating, y'all. I'm sweating. I need an ounce. I said all that to say this. I'm going to show you how God, good God is. Saying got a call. We thought we were getting a call for uh, the date to remove the surgery. Uh, keep in mind, let me back up and say this. When the guy went to do the box, he said, man, it's too big. I, we can't get it all. We just going to cut a piece uh, off and see what it is. <laughs> and we're going to send it out in the box and see uh, where it's directly located. Then we're going to refer you to a cancer surgeon, an ENT. It's going to have to be the one to take it off. So um, we went to the ENT. He called about two weeks ago. We had an appointment. Y'all, can I tell you what the ENT said? You know, I'm for the preach. The ENT said, uh, I don't see nothing. He said, Miss I, we ain't got to do no surgery on you. He said, well, what you got is scar tissue. He, he said, he said, he said, it'll heal on and on. He said, uh, we ain't got to go back in your neck. Uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's why, that's, that's why the, when they were singing, he, he, he's still doing great things. Y'all can't miss it. Just like, because what I'm telling y'all, in your faith walk, he's no respect the person for these two sitting over here. He don't love them no more than he love me and you. I, I, don't, I don't know what you, I, I, I don't I don't know what you need from God. They they say you put your mom in your mom is your mom all right? They say they put your mom in the hospital. Is she all right? He he say he woke he raised your mom, he'll do the same thing for you. You just you just got to trust him. And then I, you got you got a, you got the sister back. He raised up her mom. He's no He's still in the healing business. Y'all better not miss it. Pam, I mean, we we come in here and we worry about that we ain't got four or five hundred people in here. We worry about that we didn't see this person last week, but he said it don't take all that. He said, well, two or three are gathered together. I'm gonna tell you one thing. One thing I do know. Now I know my mother-in-law praying, but I get real excited when I see Sister Shirley. It's something on them. And she'll give it to anybody, D. She'll just come up and grab her. I'll never forget when they first told saying where the I didn't know where this lady come from. She came up and grabbed on her. I didn't know what she was saying. But what you made happen for her, he gonna make happen for Tawana. He's still in the healing business. I'm telling y'all, but what you have to do is reach up. What you, what you have to do is reach up and get it by faith. He, he, He's after our faith. He, he, he wants y'all to think that he, he can't do it no more. He's not able to do a ceiling abundant than all we can actually think. He's still in the healing business, DJ. All you got to do is reach up by faith and get it. Don't let the enemy take, I'm telling you, hat, 
not half of the battle, most of the battle is in your mind. He's after, he after our mind, y'all. And what and what Peter is saying, add to you know I read all them things, I read all them things out um uh, Ingrid. And you know what it is, the virtue, the knowledge, the temperance, the patience, the godliness, the brotherly kind, the charity. He killing the flesh so you can be more spiritual. You, when you're more spiritual, you can believe the impossible. You can stand on his word. Y'all may not miss it. He said, hey, now you can't be caught, Veronica, we can't be caught on and believe the impossible. But look what he said, add these, add these seven things to your face. I'm, I'm just looking, y'all, because I'm a, I'm a well-educated guy, and they have to do internal things that's going on. You, this, the, faith, this, the, the, the seed of faith already been planted. Are you going to work to, to make it a great faith in your life? The choice is yours. That's what Peter is saying here. The fam, the, the, whether you believe he can do it or not is up to you. Amen. I told y'all a long time ago, Mark 10 and 20, he said, when you pray and believe. Amen. And I told him, we ain't stop praying. We still praying, Mashita. I'm still praying every day. Amen. He trying to attack our belief system. Amen. He don't want us to believe. He want it to be just word. But I come to tell y'all, this ain't the comic book. This ain't the English book. Um, this, hey, this is the word of God. He said, those that come to me must first believe that I am. And I am a reward of those that diligently seek me. What is the reward? So the reward is if you pray and believe, you can have whatever you pray for. Don't let them take it away from you now. Don't let them tell me, find your situation or yourself in the Bible. And he said, put me in remembrance of my word. Pray that he said, before, before one of my words come back void, heaven and earth will pass away. So if you put in remembrance, it got to happen. In, in, in this time, y'all, we got to hold on to his word. I'm talking about, it ain't too late to go back to school. It ain't too late. If he told you to do anything, it ain't too late. Time is, is down here on earth. He, he said uh, 40 years is like a day to him. He don't promise us son showing. You and Veronica stepped out, man. I'm talking about we fighting to get to the base. You walked away from the base because you had a word. Don't get out here showing, and when you get in the middle of the thing that, he's, he, that he forgot about the word he gave you. Veronica was in one of the, I told them the other day, man, y'all got big faith. You left the base, she walked out from a big um, lawyer office, and y'all doing y'all own thing. But they had a word. He's no respect of a person, Veronica. If he told y'all, it's somebody else in here, you scared to leave your job because, wait a minute, now. make sure you have a word from him. Because if he give you a vision, he give you the provision. Don't tell my editor, because I ain't going to give you nothing. Now. Hold up. Uh, hey, 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 wait a minute, let's bag that up now. <laughs> we get a little too excited, hold up. But uh, Cheryl walked away. I'm talking about, we be in the store, and, and y'all know everybody want to get to the base. DJ on the base, so DJ, I'm not speaking evil of the base, but if he tell you to move, man, just move. If he tell you to move, I'm talking about, he, I, I, let me back up, let me show you. Peter, bear, line your filicine. I can talk to you. Uh, I don't know where, Bluebird, Coca-Cola, the base. You, so he ain't the same God if he tell you to do something now that he won't do it? I mean, he, we, we, he, it's a faith walk, man. In the faith walk, I'm telling y'all, I'm looking for something to give y'all where it'll be unfailing, unfailing faith. I want to sound uh, unfailing faith. Faith that failed not. He said, no, I was just tell them to get rooted in the faith they already have. That way they won't be tossed to and fro. But how you get rooted? You work it from the inside. Y'all, he said, uh, y'all know how we like to cra quote, faith without works are dead. Yeah. How many of y'all look, look forever for them works that we supposed to have been doing for our faith? Wow. It's internal. Yeah. There, go right there. Pain, I'm in the word. Peter, the, the faith, but the work we supposed to have been doing for our faith yeah. is internal. Yeah. Faith without works is dead. It's an internal. It's an internal. You can't work for God if you ain't been with God. 
And dad go, I'm talking about, about I missed it. So I'm not beating nobody. Man, I walked all past it. I thought it was some big, uh, and then Bible said we're going to go deeper. Uh, it'll be either my wife or I ain't said or Mashita. I want y'all to get this second Peter. These seven things, man, they internal. I'm, I'm blowing my mind. So that showed me that the storm is raging on the outside, so you're telling me to work on the inside. So what he's telling me, y'all don't miss it. Even when the storm is raging, I'm going to give you peace internal. How, how many know you can move, if, even if you move and slow, you can move as long as you got peace? It ain't the darkness that uh, stop us from moving around, because I've walked around in the darkness. It's the unexpected what's going to happen in the darkness, but I need his peace. It's internal. We've been looking at this faith thing, man. I'm talking about, Pastor, and Pastor been on faith this whole, uh, I know, a sermon, a series. Uh, so when it does it like that, it be prophetic, and then we'll come in here and sit down on it and miss it. Uh, Man, don't y'all miss this? Um, because he gonna shake. Some people are gonna get shaken or loose, and it's not his will, DJ, that we get shaken or loose. He said, "I'm not." He said, "I'm not no respect of a person. I wish that all would come." Why? 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 Some of us missing it because we ain't went back and found what we supposed to be doing. We we get busy and then I, all of these characteristics is working on, on the, so you won't get, so things won't rub you the wrong way. Now, we know the church is messy. Any church, you're going to have change. Anything that changes, it's going to bend a little bit because we like to be comfortable. So when something closing in from the outside on us, we, we react a different way. But he's saying, I'm going to give you peace. He said, if you work on these things, let me, let me help right here. Because I, all I heard was uh, when people explain faith, faith is the substance of the thing hoped for and the evidence of the thing not seen. How many of y'all heard that? Y'all be honest. Could y'all comprehend what that really meant? Blew my mind, bro. But I heard, you know, I listened to a, a lot of preachers. I'm finna help y'all, okay? Help me. He said, faith is the substance of the thing hoped for and the evidence of the thing not seen. I'm going to go old school. Let me show you a little. A couple of y'all might remember this. Um, back in the day, um, I, I, the, the older women uh, and, and, and husband, it was a couple. Um, I think it's Taylor Chapman. I don't want to steal his, his thing, but uh, it helped me a lot, so I'm going to use it, see will it, will it help you. Uh, faith is the substance that I ain't hoped for and the evidence that I ain't not seen. I kept reading it, kept, I don't get nothing out of that. I can't, I don't get nothing. Faith still, faith still, faith still. Tell us, Chapman said, um, y'all remember when we used to have that country ham? And they had the country ham, they didn't have a whole lot of money in Minnesota Dean, um, so they couldn't buy every kid in the family the, the country ham. So the country ham was for the fault. I'm gonna miss this now. Uh, but what the mother would do because she loved the father and the kids, she would fry up that country ham and uh, she would pour some water on the country ham and what we call it, because I remember we would call it the red eye gravy yeah. off the country ham. Faith feels the substance they ain't hoped for. The father got the ham, the kids got the gravy off the ham. Faith feels the substance they ain't hoped for. They didn't get the ham, Veronica. They got the gravy off the ham. So they got a little taste of it, of what the ham, what they thought the ham would be like. Y'all don't miss it. Faith feels the substance they ain't hoped for. We got a hope that we, <laughs> I don't want to get it too excited here, Rashida. Faith feels the substance they ain't hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith feels, faith feels. Uh, they didn't get the ham. But they got uh, the water, the gravy off the hand. So that water going to keep me, let me know that one day, that hope that I have internal, I'm going to get there. F faith feels the such a thing hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So he went on to say this. So all of us left and came to church today. And when I left my house, um, 
I left everything intact. Uh, I got the rain cameras. Uh, I got. Uh, I got. I had the ADT. I had all that. They ain't have all that back in the day. So when they left their their house, nobody was watching the house. So uh, they was gone, and when they got home, someone had been in the house because some stuff was missing. Faith feels the substance of the thing hoped for and the evidence of thing not seen. They didn't see the thief, but they knew the stuff that they left there when they, when, before they went to church. They know what they left, it ain't there no more. I got the evidence that somebody been here. I don't know about you, but do you have evidence somebody been down on the inside? And because he been down on the inside, I got a hope for in a future. Y'all miss it. Can I, I'm making it faith is the substance of thing hoped for and the evidence of thing not seen. Faith feels the substance of the thing hoped for and the evidence not thing not seen. Uh, I didn't get the ham, but I got the gravy. Right. I didn't catch the thief, but somebody been here. Right. I got evidence that somebody been here. <laughs> Pam, do you have evidence that he been down on the inside of your soul? That's why it don't take all y'all to get up in here. Uh, I got evidence that he been there. I ain't the same. I ain't where I used to be. But I, I got evidence that somebody been don't touch me internally. Somebody, and since he touched me internally, Joanna, I got a hope for a future. So faith is the substance that I ain't hope for. Are you, hope, are you hoping and wishing for great things in moment? Y'all, I'm trying to make it simple. Y'all don't read Hebrews 11 and 1 a long time, and ain't nobody really never broke it down. They just told y'all faith is the substance that I ain't hope for and the evidence of things not seen. I'm trying to make it plain. That's what I like to do. I, I mean, I like the Greek, the Hebrew. I like all of that. But sometimes I just want this straight cut. Let me get, make, let me make it plain. I didn't get the ham, but I got the grave off the ham. And since you're not a respect of a person, one day I'm going to have ham sitting in front of me. He said, I, 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 I will pray a feast in the minute. One day I'm going to have the ham right there in front of me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to appreciate this gravy that come off this ham because whatever my dad did to get this ham, I'm going to follow him. That way we don't want to follow nobody. Uh, he, he, we don't want to follow nobody because we don't necessarily want what they got, but it could be bigger. Your ham might not be the same size, but I, 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 I tasted the gravy, so in my mind it was good. <laughs> Oh my God, I tasted it great. He, let, he said, taste and see. <laughs> Woo! He said, taste and see. I got a taste of one a long time ago. And I've been chasing it. I ain't going to give up. I, I, I'm, I don't know. The, the thunder may roar, the lightning may fly. I ain't giving up. Because I believe somebody let me hurt. I don't believe he brought me this for the leave. Somebody told me he that began a good work in me is able to see it to pass. Somebody messed around and let me pick up the Bible, y'all. So I, I, I'm, I'm determined. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. My auntie used to say that. Pick me up, turn me around. Place my feet on solid ground. Can't nobody do me like how he did, so why would I go back? See, some of y'all in the middle right now. See, we don't came from over there, we're in the middle. When you know, one time I went fishing and I, uh, I looked out, Pam, it looked like the sky and the water meet. Have y'all ever been out there for? Then you look back that way, it, it looked like the sky and the water meet on that side too. But I know where I came from. Ain't no sense of me going back the way I came because I'm going to have to start all over again. I might as well run on and see where the end going to be. Some, some of y'all in the middle right now, Ingrid. Some of them in the middle of the, and they thinking about turning back. The devil is a lie. Y'all, you come too far. He been too good. Has he been too good? Ain't nothing. I, some of y'all say, well, I'm catching hell at church. I might well go back to doing what I use. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. Yeah, it, it, it is better. When it can't see, you just run the wrong people. Somebody ain't telling you the truth. Cause he said, great is, is he that's in, that's in me than he that's in the world. So you, you have to find yourself in the Bible. So you, you're in the middle of the situation now. You're in the middle of the storm, and now's the time for your faith walk. 
You, you're on your faith walk right now. Peter was on a faith walk. And, and, and the thing about Peter, y'all, and, and why I couldn't call it unfailing faith, because Peter failed. He said before, before the, 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 the crow uh, crows three times, you're going to deny me. He said, no, I won't. See, that would be me, the old me. But you know what? When I was studying what Peter should have asked, see, that's why when you're in the presence of God, you got to ask the right question. Say, God, uh, since you're a man and you ain't shouldn't lie and you say I'm going to deny you, teach me how not to deny you. All you had to do was ask the right question. You arguing and debating, telling him that you're not. I ain't arguing with him no more. If he said it, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. If he, he give us warning sign. And we, we thinking, it, we, we big and bold that we going to argue with the man of God. He said, how can you preach? He sounded alone. He said, there's a shaking coming. I'm going to be planted. I hear y'all now in the spirit. Y'all grabbing the chair. I'm going to be planted. Then when the storm coming, it turns it sideways, you get a little scary. Instead of, the question should be, okay, Pastor said there's a shaking coming. How can I be not uprooted? That's, that's the question. That's the only thing he had to ask, D. He said it three times. Uh-huh. And I ain't getting super spirits. I ain't going to say it before the Father. He said it three times. So he warned. He said, before the crow cracks is crowed three times, you're going to deny me. He said, no, I'm not. But, um, so I couldn't call it unfailing faith. I couldn't call the, the name up. But you got to be rude. He just asked the wrong question. He should be a sign and example for us to, to ask the right question. Y'all don't, I mean, that's what it is. Y'all don't talk to him. I talk to him. I ain't, I ain't talking about Greek, Hebrew, my Lord. It's hard. It's hard. I get a little weary sometimes. Huh, huh. Lord, I need you. Y'all ain't never said I need thee. Y'all miss him. Y'all miss him. I need thee. Every, every day, every hour, I need thee. Y'all be scared to call on him, man. He's standing, he said he's standing there waiting. You're going to sink because you won't call him. Well, go ahead on. I'll see you on the other side. You got to be determined. You want everything that God has for you on this side. He told us if we be willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land on this side, Pam. So why we ain't getting it? We won't call it. You out here fighting these, and, I, and, and, and they said, uh, some of these mountains, he going to give you the strength to claim. But some of them going to be sweatless victory. That's the we got that covenant from Apollo. He said, some of us, he going to move it all the way out the way. You ain't got to go over it. He just going to move it. They didn't have to go. I mean, they went through the Red Sea. He parted it. So you saying he still won't do it for us? What's, where your faith at? That's, that's, what, that's where the thing is internal, man. We have small faith because we haven't added these things, what I call water. The seed of faith already been planted. We choose not to water. Well, how do you water the faith, Elder, with the word? It's simple. All these things come turn corner into spiritual. Look, he said, uh, I, I, I don't want to miss it. Check this out right here. The, the thing he said, loving kindness. And one, one really stuck to me because I don't know that we do this. He, he said, he said uh, with loving kindness, let me go with the charity, give them to the seek. Brotherly kindness, brotherly kindness, that's the one, number six. You know, we'll take care of my family. My kids are back there. I get them whatever. But he said, you're going to be able to get us somebody that ain't got your last name. All right. Because you're all Christian. We, 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 don't, we don't give, I don't think. A lot of us don't. We'll take care of our family, but it's bigger than our family. Yes. Hmm. He blesses you to be a blessing. Yes. And we hold on to it. Huh? That, 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 he's dealing with our flesh. Why are you going to look at all those Christians, you're going to look at a, another one that lack, and you got abundance, and you won't give. Yeah. But we're going we're gonna to talk about we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it when you say But I'm saying we got to work on the inside. P- Peter helped me because I was looking for, because um, I've been through something. And, and I was shaking. Uh, I mean, no, I, I'll be honest. I was shaking. I was trying to find a word. God help my unbelief. And if I believe it, it should be in my life. So I got a problem. Uh, you know what the problem is with, with a lot of other Christians? We have trust issues. We don't trust God's word because of our past experience. 
we, we have trust issues because we did some stuff that we shouldn't have did. Uh, and I ain't calling, someone has disappointed you or let you down, and it could have been, a, someone, gonna, someone has told you, I'll always be there, I'll never leave you. And they left. We're going to bind that demon. He, that, that wasn't God. And God, when God tells you he'll never leave you or forsake you, he mean it. Somebody say, I got you. You can count on me. And they left. They, they, they went none of God neither. But, but, but when it get like that, that's one of what I, what I have to do. Um, because I, I've been there. Uh, so I go back to that scripture, all things work together for the good of those. How could that help me? It lets you know that where that person fail you at, look to me. He said, I will look to the hill which come out here. You were looking in the wrong place anyway. If I hadn't let them disappoint you, you would have kept trusting and believing in them and you never would have came to me. I, I had, sometimes you trust people too much. When God is saying, I want you to trust in me. That, that's, that's, that's all he's saying. Now y'all know I love saying. I, 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 I mean, I really love them. But sometimes I have to look past her, Miss Earl. I have to look past her to, to the author and the finisher of my faith. Yeah. And he's been faithful to her. Y'all hear what I said? Go, the girl ain't got to go get cut on. I was worried. I was saving vacation day. I'm preparing for the unexpected. Yeah. Instead of trusting God, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was trusting God. <laughs> Y'all laugh at me now. Hey. Mashita, I was trusting God, but I was kind of scrambling the fence. Have y'all ever trusted God, but you left the you left the door open just in case? God said, I'm removing that just in case now. It, it's, it's either all or nothing, man. It, it's, it's coming now. It's neither. We don't survive a pandemic. And that's why, you know, I was praying from, from a mother law on um, restoration, restoration. Um, and, and we lost some folk. We all seen the number. COVID killed a lot of folk. Um, but God, I say you, 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 you got a faithful prayer warrior there. I don't know. Ain't nothing tragic or unexpected to you, God. But this is just me personally. I don't want COVID to be where they said took her out. I just want her to fall asleep in you. Can, can you just let her fall asleep in you? Hmm. Hey, y'all don't realize the heart attack, the tragic accident. That's just something for us to say. You know how when, when someone leaves here, the people ask, what happened? Why we just can't fall asleep in God? Ain't nothing. She heard one night, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with a few things. I'm going to make you rude. And she just slept on the way in. So I told God, I said, raise up the letter. We, we ain't fearing COVID. Uh, COVID don't kill you don't need COVID. To, uh, you, you say you Alpha and Omega. Yeah. I mean, I talk to them like that, Veronica. We ain't, we ain't scared. We cautious. We cautious. We, we had to do some stuff, get some shots we didn't want them, or wear the mask we did. It changed our lives. But we, we, we coming out. Yeah. We ain't where we started at three years ago. We might not be to the other side because we still facing battle. But we ain't where, why we go back? Why, why go back? And, and that's that faith walk, y'all. We got to be determined to stand on his word. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith come by hearing. And um, the devil is like, we look, and, um, and you hear people talk. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you. Pam, y'all come on. You hear people talk. And, and one thing on, like, uh, Mashita is they say uh, people will never come back into the physical building. I'm kind of confused with that. I think, I think that's a trick of the enemy. Uh, I think we should come back. That's my opinion. I hear pros and cons, uh, pros and cons, pros and cons. Uh, but y'all, there's something about getting around other people that are going through and you can't really tell it. I mean, we all got up this morning and put on clothes. We don't know what the other person going through. But we sat it aside for a little while to come give God uh, what is due him. We sat, we sat it to the side. We sat it to the side. So why not come back? Why not come back? That's the question I would be uh, if you're watching. Why not come back? Because sitting at home, uh, the kids, there, there was many distractions, so you're going to miss something that was intended for you to get. So why not come back? That would be my question. Why not come back into the house of God? And it ain't the building that's good or bad. It's the people. 
but where's the, the, the grace and mercy until they get it right? Somebody loved on you until you got it right. Uh, I heard someone say we get hurt everywhere, but the least little thing that what happened at church when we get hurt, we leave the church and never come back. Shame on us. They just human. They just, they just human. The church, I mean, uh, man look at the eye of God, look at the heart. Sometimes we err. He said never let your good be evil spoken of you. Sometimes we err. But God look at the heart. He know, he, he know that we love him. It, it's no weakness inside of us. It's, it's no weakness inside of us. So he, you, you, you examine yourself. Stand to your feet. Examine yourself today. So the question I present to you today, um, has the seed of faith been planted in your life? That's the first question. Has, has the seed of faith been planted in your life? And if the seed of faith been planted, have you been watering the seed of faith? Now Peter t- tells us what we need to do. In the Bible, be faith without works is dead. So, have you been? You can come on. Uh, have you been watering your faith? Y'all, it's, it's a shaking coming. And, and I told you, I, and, and, and what I learned is, um, it's not the length or the, or the number of times I come into this building um, that to determine is my faith rooted or not. There's some stuff I'm going to have to go through to see if I'm really rooted in my faith. Uh, he told Simon Peter, he said, I pray that your faith fail, you're not. Saints of God, I pray that your faith fail, you're not this morning. But sometimes we're going to fail and we need a little grace of mercy. So the first question would be, have the seed of faith been planted? Uh, and the second one, do you... Do you, you, do you Faith need a little strengthening this morning. The altar open. Uh, I was going to have Cheryl come and pray for our minds because the enemy is after our mind. Uh, he's, he's after our mind. Man, he after our mind. Um, it ain't the mind in the bank. It, 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 it's, it's not. He's after our mind. He's fighting us in our mind every way he can. He's fighting us in our mind. I mean, I'm talking about teenagers commit suicide. I'm talking about teenagers get, being bullied and stuff. Teenagers are losing their life. He's fighting us in our mind. That's not God. That's not God's best for us. That's not God's best for us. I'm saying whatever you have to do to continue on this faith walk, y'all, y'all got to grab a hold of it now. Y'all, y'all have to grab a hold of it. I mean, I know my mother-in-law was a prayer warrior. I know my wife was a prayer. Uh-huh. And I can see my kids, and, and I, I believe my, mom, my, my, my wife and my mother are always praying for my kids. Y'all, they facing so much stuff we didn't have to face. They facing so much, uh, DJ, that we didn't have to, we didn't have to, we didn't have to, we didn't have to go through what they going through. But the same God, I told, I told saying the other day, I did my part. He said, train up a, a child in the way they should go, and when they get old, they won't depart. I said, God, whatever you have to put on them to put, to, to, to push them back to you, God, you put it on them. But you give me the strength so I won't get in your way. Sometimes we try to save them and it be up between them and God. Sometimes, Sean, I, I, I be wanting to save them because I love them so much. But sometimes he's saying, um, you ain't going to be in our ways. I'm, I'm going to be in our ways. You're going you gonna to have to let them go through this right here because I'm pushing them back to me. So I, I, I'm praying for Eric. Come on, Minister Dean. Come on, Minister. Somebody give up a mic. Uh, we gonna, uh, you, you can come to the altar if you want, but... Uh, Cheryl is, a, is a, a, a license. She got a lot of, she's a licensed prayer counselor. And, and the enemy, it told me just plain and simple, man, he's coming after our mind. He, uh, so the Cheryl, he's coming after our mind. She, she ain't got to touch you, but when she started to pray, I want you to take both of your hands and put them over your head. Y'all, we got to guard our mind. He coming after our mind, y'all. The battle, the battle is in the mind. The battle, I mean, he coming, to, he coming to kill, steal, and destroy. He coming after our mind. I mean, he coming to stunt your bro. He coming to whatever that you. Can, he coming to block your vision. He's coming to where you can't, where you won't see no hope. You going you, you gonna think all is lost. You gonna think there's no hope. You gonna think don't nobody love you because of what you going through. But the devil is a lie. He still have people that are sound the alarm telling you to guard your mind. So even, and then don't, don't be fooled um, to think that you did it to yourself. Some of this stuff, whether you did it to yourself or not, he's still there. I did a lot of stuff I shouldn't did, but he kept on loving me. 
That's why we have to be quick not to, to condemn everybody. You forget what he brought you out of. You forget how much he loved you. And so we can condemn everything they do. Lord, all I ask, I don't care what they do and how they do it, Lord, you just keep your hand on them. You know what my prayer is for my kids, y'all? It's not that I used to be and I had to change. I want them to be successful, go to college, big highs, big cars. You, um, Lord, don't let them die in their sin. I got scripture. He said, what for the man to lose his soul? The big highs, the cars, and all that stuff don't matter. My prayer for my kids, man. My prayer for my kids is don't let them die in sin. I mean, y'all say, what? You don't want them to be successful? If they, if they find Jesus, they're already successful. Y'all don't miss it. We don't got attached to the material thing, missing the big picture. Cheryl, you can go ahead. Right, well, y'all taking the just Can we get our them. babies up here, please? Y'all, um, uh, send the kids. Our children up here. Send, send the kids. Y'all can come. Rashida, you, you can come. Put your hand on the kids. Y'all can come on. Uh, man, they after, all, they after all were babies and they after all were mine. And, and what I'm saying, y'all check this out. When she said babies, some of us are babes in Christ. Some of us are babes in Christ. So you're looking at an age. Some of, some of us really can't pick up the Bible and understand it for ourselves. Some, some of us can't get a word from God and move out on it. Come on, you come on up here, Mr. Lee. Some of us can't get a word on our own and move out on it. So some of us are, are babes in Christ. But the key is, y'all don't mind. Y'all for me. But well, y'all take y'all hand, first of all, stretch them toward God. Y'all go ahead and raise your hand. Then when you raise it, take them and put up. I mean, I know peer pressure is real. But I want you to, I mean, we got a God that's bigger than any peer pressure that's out there. So I want you to take your hand and place them on your head as she begin to pray. Go ahead, Sharon. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The Lord Father God as we come to you as humbly father as we know how father God we present everything to you God father we seek to be naked before you God holding nothing back father from your Lord Jesus we reveal it all God and we release it all father God we repent at this hour father for not following your way God for not hearing you God when you are speaking God for not slowing up God and sitting down and listening father as you lead us upon this way God father you have blessed us tremendously Lord tremendously father so now we come to you God wanted to thank you God wanted to honor you father Lord we present the concerns of the mind to you father God we can present the concerns Lord of the health to you God father spiritual God emotionally physically Lord Jesus everything God that concerns us father Lord we bring our children before you Lord God and we lay them at the altar again and again and again father we present ourselves to you God and we lay it at the altar again and again and again father father we will not turn back we will not be moved God we will be rooted in you father we can Yes, God, with our hearts and our minds, Father, that we're going to hold on, God, and see what the end's going to be, Lord. We're going to lean into you, Father. We're going to hold on, God. I thank you, God, as you release, Father, the spirit, God, of your mind to us, Father, that we will not lose, God, that we have a growth mentality, Father. Oh, Father, even as we train up our children in the way to go, Father, that we will be better parents, God, and you, Lord. And we won't turn back, God, regardless of how it looks, Lord. We're going to hold on, Lord Jesus, and be steadfast, God, in you, Lord God. Oh, Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the rainfall, God. For the thunder and the lightning in life, Lord Jesus, that you shake everything off us, Lord Jesus, that is not profitable to our lives, God. And although it does not always look good or feel good, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because you are never wrong, Lord Jesus. Set our mind and our eyes upon you, Lord God. Even as we go through this season of life, Lord Jesus, it's still good and very good. And you still have a future set before us, Lord. Oh, Father, root us in you, Lord God. 
And anything that does not look like you, Lord Jesus, any thought that is not like you, Father, we ask that you take it away, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, help us, Lord Jesus, to present, Father, the fruits of the Spirit, God. Oh, I thank you. Hallelujah. God, we seek to glorify you, Lord, in everything that we do. Forgive us, Father, when we fall short, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord. Correct us, God. You said you chastise those that you love, Father. Oh, Father, continue to love on us. Continue to love on us, God. Oh, Father, when it seems too hard for us, God, help us to remember that you are strong, God. And we are strong in you, Father. Father, when we come off the road, Lord Jesus, please guide us back to you, Lord. Guide us back to you, God. Help our lights to shine on our jobs and in our homes, God. In this church, God. In the stores, God. Help us, Father, to be ambassadors of you, God. Help our children, Father, wherever they go, Lord Jesus. That they be peculiar, Father. You said your children, your people are peculiar, Father. Help us to continue to be peculiar, Father. And as we go through the storms, God, we will continue to say yes and amen. I thank you, God. I thank you for the shaking, God. I thank you for the making, God. I thank you, Father, for the pressing, God. For, Father, we desire to look like you, to walk like you, to talk like you, Father. Oh, I thank you, God. And the same way, Jesus, that you took the stripes for us, God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, as we take the stripes on this side, God. But we know, Father, that we can eat the good of the land, Father. Draw us closer to you, Father. Closer and closer to you, Father. Oh, I thank you, God, for what you're doing in this place today, Father. We praise you, Father. We open our mouths and say hallelujah and amen. Amen and amen. 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 And, and as she was praying, the storm is coming. The shaking is coming. But when you're rooted in faith, all it is is a pruning season to get rid of things that is not fruitful. He said if you practice these qualities, you won't stumble. Saints of God, we got to make sure that we are watering our faith. It's not his desire that we be tossed to and from. You have to stand on his word. The shaking is coming. And, and I'm smart enough to know, I, I didn't think that Pastor Johnson was going to be the only one going through. I just never thought it would be presented to me that, like it the way it was. So, I mean, it's, it's coming. It's, it's, it's coming. And whether you survive or you're not survive, it'll be up to you. Your faith going to have to be in God. Did y'all did y'all really understand what I was saying? Sometimes I, I never um, declared to be a great orator or a great preacher. I just have a love for the word, and I want you to get it. Yeah. Faith feels the substance of the thing hoped for, and the evidence of the thing not seen. Have you been touched down in your spirit? And you know, God, have you had a visitation from the Almighty God? Yes. Yeah. So that's the first question. If you had a visitation, the seed is planted. It's up to you if that seed is big or small. But um. A lot of us ain't going to be able to just stand alone on that mustard seed faith. You're going to have to grow your faith. You're going to have to grow your faith. You're going to have to make sure your faith is rooted. You're going to have to make sure your faith is rooted. I, I wanted you to make sure because the storm is coming. Uh, and no one's exempt. Not to scare you. It's not to scare you. It's to warn. I mean, that's what the, the, the watchmen did. They stood on the wall and warned you. Warn of the things to come. And we just... Remember last Sunday, so it's the blood is on your doorpost, you're safe. So the storm is coming, but the only thing it'll do is prune the ones that root it. Uh, you wouldn't bl be blowed over, blowed down. You just, uh, everything that's not fruitful will be shaken off. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget the day at 4 o'clock. Um, uh, what is the 7th of the 8th court? What is it, the 7th? The 7th. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Somebody in it. Somebody in it did. The 7th. The seventh cohort or the urban CEO. Uh, that's a number there. That's a, that's a great number, number seven. Number, uh, it's the seven. Um, God gave him a vision, man. He stood on it. And you know how, you know older folks that um, people, man, when you got your own business, you really don't want to come sit up under nobody and they teach you 
about business. You think you know everything, you, you, you think you know everything because you got your own business. But how many of you know the Bible says anything that's living should be growing? Somebody always can teach you something. So if you hadn't signed up, they're telling me too. I just don't know what, what, what God is leading me. I, I told her, saying start a business, you can come. Then I just come watch your graduate. <laughs> hey, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of Pastor Johnson, man. He's, uh, he's busy about his father business. Uh, he's busy about his father business. So if y'all ain't busy, and I think we have uh, uh, one of our very own that's graduating, y'all come back out and support him. I see they, when I got here, they was putting the signs outdoors, uh, out there letting you know. So don't let the rain stop you because you're rooted. How about that? So it's time to give. Y'all ready to give? Y'all ready to give? I thank all y'all for prayer for my wife and my mother-in-law. They live in witness God is still in the miracle working business. She being grown now, y'all. Uh, she gonna tell me to leave her walk around the corner. <laughs> she's on the way back. She ain't all the way back. Y'all stand to your feet. You ought to be excited to be in the house of the Lord. Oh, you ought to be excited, man. Don't let them take your excitement. It's time to give. We got two ways to give. You can text KL, give me the one eight eight three six four 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 eight three. Y'all, they already started to come around, so you can come around and give. for Dereese and Quinn. Um, you know, she's on bed rest. I, I don't think the Lord intended for her. I don't know what he's doing, but I know he's able to do uh, just what he said. So y'all pray for her and keep her encouraged. Yes. Uh, I mean, y'all really pray for her. Uh, young people in Christ, and I really believe they love the Lord. Uh, I just want, uh, sometimes you want to keep tragic, tragic stuff away from certain people. Uh, not saying they can't recover, but I'm just praying the Lord let her deliver this baby a full yes. health to turn, and yes. the baby's really healthy. Yes. Y'all, y'all, I mean, if y'all can, you know, and, and Laverne and Tim is there. I, you know, I talk to Tim every day. Tim helped me a lot. Um, so I said, man, I'm calling the one who watch out for everybody else. Sometimes, you know, the people that don't sow in your life, you have to sow back to them. Yes. So y'all keep Elder Raj and Minister Raj up in prayer. They having a small procedure. Uh, they're not discouraged. Um, they've been in the faith for a long time, but uh, I seen it with my mother-in-law. She hadn't been in a long time. Sometimes we just get tired. That's when you need the body. Y'all get it? That's when we need the body. So um, y'all tune in. Don't forget to come back out for the graduation of the Urban CEO, uh, the, the, the UCLA Academy today at 4 o'clock. Um, Bible study is on um, Wednesday at 7. And... Uh, I just hope you um you really got what God is saying. The shaking is coming, y'all. He's shaking now. I mean, I don't know if you don't see it. You must be blind, you know. He's shaking. And everything is not rooted, gonna be blown away. That's right. So I hope you enjoyed the word today. My name is Elder Ivor. I'm standing in for Pastor Dominique Johnson. So make the day a great day. So double salute. See you next time.